alone. It's been a while since I've last streamed. This time, I've actually got it going properly. <laughs> Just gonna do some, some of this. Some of this. Oh, oops. I guess I'm a bit late. I haven't done Forza GT yet, so um, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right, why are some of these in this class? Kind of stupid. Hey, what's up, Corey? The Acura is a uh, DLC, and they don't have any. I refuse to pay 150 Canadian dollars. The Indy game. Grand Prix circuit is almost entirely flat, so always keep your eyes focused far down the track, because passing opportunities will happen in some unexpected places.
Is that better? Once upon a time, there was this Corvette that Kanunu liked, and then they changed it. Ooh, the end. It worked in the same way that uh, Forza Motorsport 7 was e eSports ready. <laughs> jump shot. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, that's so jarring. <laughs> it went from 60 FPS to 30. <laughs> Good job, game. sure likes giving out achievements.
Ah. Hopefully this guy ahead of me doesn't get in my way.
work out there. Currently P3 after qualifying. <clears throat> Not bad. Could be way better.
Ooh, striking third. Nice. This guy riding the brakes. How dare you? How dare you, crew chief?
Oh, shit. Uh, pro tip, don't look away in the middle of the corner. <laughs> Four to five laps for mediums. Seems a bit, uh, bit low. somebody I think I can get second. I think it's all in the, in the cards. Yeah. I'm just gonna slap mediums on again. The softs don't last as long as I'd like them to. I can't just put no fuel in. Also, I hate that it goes down to 30 FPS for these views. Like, come on. Look how gross that is. <laughs> Why are you breaking so early? Get him. Clearly, I wasn't paying attention.
I have to say, I'm really enjoying my experience with this, this game's online. The career mode could be improved on. It's okay. Onboarding experience is kind of bad. There's so much talking and forced sit on the screen. It's it's really not a good experience. But once you get into the online and the actual regular career, it's it's a fairly decent experience. Um, graphically, I mean, I have it on medium with a few settings on high. And I have ray tracing on its highest quality. Uh, and no upscaling. Um, and I would say it looks pretty good. Um, going up to high on all the settings just makes it stuttery for me. And keep in mind, my computer is a little more powerful than an Xbox Series X. So, I shouldn't be doing that. In my opinion. Anyway. Looks fine. Definitely doesn't look quite as good as a Civic Corsa. Like the original one. Ah, with mods, I mean. It's a simple verdict. Uh, wheel sport's terrible, and a lot of production cars just understeer it like crazy. There you go. We've been talking about the game. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, if they fix like these small little things, like the um, uh, like the menus only rendering at 30 FPS, uh, I think it would be a significantly better experience. Even though it's just like changing the frame limiter, <laughs> pretty much. And then there's a few other things that should be fixed, and if they want to be respected at all, they should actually have decent wheel support. to see a little more control over some of the views it would be nice most modern sims have that experience where you can adjust the view uh, yeah I know the stock real settings are ass but like I shouldn't be asked to spend however long to adjust them Especially when they're so bad out of the gate. Uh, like in the set of Corsa and ACC, I pretty much just plugged my wheel in and was like, okay, feels good enough, adjust per car for a game. And away we go. Um, but for this, it's just, like, there's no detail, and I've got a direct drive wheel. <laughs> so there's no excuse. People will survive. <laughs> I would like to know where my car's lights come on. 
can still see, but, you know. No. I don't know, I'm pretty sure uh, GTE cars have lights. Get the Good times to wait. <laughs> I'm just going to turn on image sharpening because it's a little too soft. I think Gari already has Forza. bad of a race there was more uh... <laughs> yikes I thought this guy's name was Ball's Destiny. Well, I know I thought there was an A there. Fucking brilliant. Oh, I think the game crashed. Yep. Game crash. Microsoft Windows the application is not responding. <laughs> there you go. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Hopefully they iron that out. That's quite annoying. Um. Yeah, it it would suck on a on a hard drive, considering how much loading and shit there are. Um, I've got it on an NVMe SSD and it's still quite, quite horrendous for how much loading is involved. Yeah, it's Steam. I don't exactly want to purchase games through the Microsoft Store. <laughs>
The iconic Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course was built to the contours of the land, with twisting, plunging corners and exciting high-speed crests, making it a favorite for both drivers and fans. Still on controller. I want to enjoy myself, you know. I don't want to fuck around with the wheel and shit. Oh my god, that's legal. <laughs> Sweat Lord. I love how that's legal. <laughs> Just cut through the.
And I'm gonna hop in the. Uh, oh, no, I'm not. Um, after I've done qualifying, I'm going to hop in the Discord voice chat. So if you want to meet me there, feel free. Yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. I just think it's really funny. Yeah, some are about there. I just can't drive uh, with ABS off with this controller. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna join the Discord thing now. <laughs> The game crashed. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Hopefully... Yeah, I guess my, uh, um, what is this resolution game?
Hang on, I fixed it. Come on, put me in the put me in the same lobby. Look at my balls. No. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, will it uh, send me back into the same lobby? You would hope so. Yeah. There's a bottle opener in my pocket. The iconic Congratulations. Sports car course was built to the contours of the land. Yeah. Twisting, plunging corners. And I forgot to take it out last night. Twists making it a favorite for both drivers and fans. That's okay. I'll forget about it tonight as well. Shouldn't be too long before I'm done with this. I'm just gonna phone it in since it's the last week and this class is gonna pay to my fucking ass. And then, while I'm done with that, I'll probably play Apollo here and uh, download Forza. Did you, did, you, did, did you buy it already? No, I didn't. Uh, I actually need to remove some game before I buy it. Uh, Art Factor 2. Yeah, remove that garbage. I, I put so many hours into it, it's just like, I can't. The wheel doesn't work right, and then. I'm sorry, it, it's not that hard to make money work right on any other game. I mean, so, Forza, uh, it seems to be. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I should have expected that, and you know what? I'll get with Zelot whenever he finally plays a stupid game. Fair enough. And he can help me create God tier world settings since we have the same brand of hardware. But that won't matter because for most of the week I'll be reading. Imagine doing something other than video games. What are you normal? Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I am. I have a full-time job and a part-time job, and I go to school. So, so far, the race cars I've driven actually feel decent. Mm -hmm. And then the road cars feel meh. And then the Hyundai that I drove felt less meh. It's supposed to feel the other way around with Forza, because all the race cars I've driven in Forza feel meh. And then the road cars actually feel good. But uh, who knows, maybe maybe that'll reverse around for me, because like, after driving a set of Forza, I like driving the low-level racing cars, and then like, some modified production cars with different suspension usually feel fine. Race starts in five minutes. Right. Well, I think most of the issues are probably because they both have the physics, and then they've tried to get that kind of natural, soft, kind of floaty feeling of a road car, and then they've botched it. No, I would hope in a future update they kind of go in and fix that a little bit. Yeah. That and there's some graphical things that I think they could fix. Uh, probably not the 2D trees, but like how the cars drive on the track, they look too bouncy. Yeah. I think the most natural looking game in that respect is AC, which is sad considering that game's like 10 years old. Yeah.
So it seems like only the Mustang had that weird uh, throttle situation. I mean, I could see it on the Civic that the tachometer was bouncing. So I think they've tried to model that into their tachometer. Like, hey, look, the, the revs aren't increasing in a perfectly linear fashion. Which no car is perfectly linear on acceleration, but still. Right. I wonder if um, uh, before they launched the game, they tested some of the cars. Probably the ones that they were planning on focusing on. And then just kind of pushed some of the other cars off to the side. Now, hopefully with games and services, or as they are, they'll go through and fix some of the glaring issues, and then they can focus on improving other aspects of the game. Like wheel support. Yeah. Like wheel support. I don't know, I've watched some of like the sim racers, like the actual legitimate sim racers play the game. And like it just doesn't look very good on the wheel. Yeah. Oh can't let them all. If rollers let they go, then I shall play on roller. I feel fucking weird though. HDB, so, you know, load times were insufferable. Yeah. Much like my username. <sighs> we were my joke. I see what it is. Looks like I'm starting second. Because I had a six second time penalty. Oh, no. You had a six second time penalty? Yeah. For what? Oh, that puts me all on the back. I don't know, apparently going off the track means time penalty. No, you're out too much. Did you get sucked back in the middle of Ohio? Pardon? Did you get sucked back into mid Ohio? Uh, I just uh, quickly joined the GTO or the GTX or whatever class it is because. Uh, Maybe GTO. I don't know, whatever class this is. And then the. Ugh, the track was mid Ohio, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, these aren't quite group five cars, I don't think. But they are for American. Um, I forgot what the American Racing Service. I think it's the precursor to IMSA. 
or maybe it was early up, so I don't remember. I know the Audi, Audi GTO, the car I'm driving, competed in IMSA. The GTO class. Yeah. IMSA GTO. Yeah. He also contradicts himself on stream. Um, I don't think the M1 Pro car would have competed in that class, or the Ferrari 512 BBLM. Not work. No, I just didn't go. Oh, avoiding carnage. Exactly, you're talking to Carl. He's like, I haven't, been, I haven't been in any wrecks. I haven't, like, you know, I haven't been, like, super far down the grid or anything. He's actually saying it's pretty good. Uh, It's basically saying this is the kind of game that he likes. Yeah, it's pretty much got everything that I want in an online racing environment. Minus wheel support. Oh, yeah. Bro. Oh. He's got use. That guy didn't even get a time penalty. Amazing. Like the old is really popular. Yes, sir. The Audi Quattro has obvious appeal. Nice rejoin, bro. It's four, so what did you expect? Why don't you get a time penalty? No way. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> it's there for you to use, use it. Back behind you is a four second time penalty. Good. So at the back of the grid is typical Forza. Yeah. But once you get towards the front, it's like actually good. Uh-huh. So either Forza is putting really low quality drivers in with the good drivers, or, uh, you know, Forza just rubs on people really badly. Well, remember, too, you're in, like, the first... You're in the second day of the actual release of the game. Yeah. Will all of the kids get to play now? Well, all the kids whose parents bought them the standard edition get to play now? Wow. Come on, bro.
think you're being outpulled on the straightaway. That's fine. Brilliant overtake. <laughs> Did the commentator say that? No, I just feel like it's a brilliant overtake. I technically overtook off track, but like the game just doesn't give a shit, I guess. <laughs> well, you get 30 laps for drafting now? I don't think so. Really Remember, it's like if you're, if you're within like seven tenths of a car to pick up the quote draft in seven, you get dirty. Yeah, no, I think they got rid of I think it's the collide now. Which is kind of dumb too. I mean, Force is the kind of racing game, like kind of that touch and go racing. Like the beat and bang allure of touring car racing is more encouraged. Right. Must, mostly because of the physics, but what do I know? Nothing, you're not even doing your homework. Take hey, Canoe. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna give you a swirly. <laughs> oh, Steve, <laughs> mauled. Um, what, what do all the, the Zoomer kids say? Cope, Steve, mauled. I don't know. Um, skill issue. That guy's probably actually mauling right now. <laughs> It's probably pressed me up the track <laughs> to get, get final teeth free. Hey. Expect racing suits. Am I right? Pardon? It's a fixed back racing suit. Oh. Just fall off straight off a wall whenever you hit 70% tire wear. Alright, uh, you get to about 50%, and then you like to slowly start feeling it. And then you get to 70, and then you really start feeling it. But from 50 to 70, it feels like they're kind of gradually going off instead of just straight up dying. Yeah. That guy did the exact same thing. <laughs> Thanks, game. You also got a time. 
for getting a reset to pull pit lane and sitting there for a solid like 10 seconds. Yeah. I'll survive there. Live in the space. Oh man, that guy has almost a three second time penalty. <laughs> Imagine being VIP and driving like dog shit. Yeah. Speaking of, are you gonna buy any of that shit or are you just gonna gonna buy you what? Are you gonna buy any of the VIP shit? Nope. No. Nope. Wow. Kinda of surprising considering you get all this free money. Says a guy who doesn't want to buy the game for 75 bones. <laughs> I don't want to oh. encourage uh, day one DLC. You're stupid. I mean, VIP at Car Pass have been day one DLC for about as long as I can remember. But then again, all Car Pass is is just like. I, don't, I know in 7 it was like, there's X number of DLC coming out, and we're just gonna, just gonna fall off after this. And I think they ended up just saying, if you own Car Pass, you just get all the DLC. Which was cool. And then, um, I think all the IP did was give me, like, double credit payout on races. Hmm. I don't remember. VIP did some other stuff, too, I think. If you pay, for, pay for VIP, you can skip a lot of money grinding. And not really. I never really had to grind for money in uh, 7. I think my main account had like over a hundred million credits. Ah. Well then. I know Jag had some insane amount, like I don't know, like seven hundred million or something. Yeah, I saw one of his uh replay recordings and he's got just a fuck ton of money. It's like I think even on his like GRM account, he's still got, like, a stupid amount of money. <laughs> like, more than I ever had in my But then again, I would do silly things, like, buy random silly fuck-off car because I wanted it, and then build it, go into multiplayer, and then buy another one. And keep doing that. Whereas Jagged was very much like, I own every race car in the game, I don't need to buy more of them, or I have one car, I can just keep putting the same four tunes on. <laughs> Whereas I would have like one car, one tune. If I had the same car and another tune, I would buy another car and put that tune on it. <laughs> I also had like four GT350 owners. Just for the sole purpose of not having to switch the breeds or tunes. Hey, can any of this guy slow you down? You need to, like, get around him. Well, that's one way to get around him. Come on, pass me! Go! 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 Jeez. Hear me now. I have no incentive to let people buy if I'm gonna get a fucking, uh, time penalty for hitting them. I just want to be a good sportsman. It's important to me. It's called self-correcting, and um, the penalty system is self-correcting. Oh my god, you're three wide.
I think this guy has no tires here. You should really like push to get in a second. That's what I'm doing. I would never forgive you if you got beat by a man called Inbred Whitey. I'll probably give you avoidable contact warnings. Like if it's a warning, just you know, don't give me anything for it. I'll say a warning, don't say nothing. Move on. It's a certain level of race. How much pull that thing had. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I think they BOP'd the Audi Quattro in the forty. To be fair, I do have way more grip around the corners, it seems. Yeah, they could fix that. No! No! Well, it didn't matter. You had to basically get around him at the beginning of the lap and then pull a 1.6 second gap, so good job, community. Thanks. Gain at least 12 positions. Yeah. Gain at least 12 positions in any multiplayer race. <laughs> There is an achievement for doing that in a 24 car race, or a 24 car online race in 7. And people would set up, like, things to grind out that achievement. So I wonder if buying through CD keys, since it's not the Steam edition of the game, I wonder how that's going to work. Oh, since I, since you have to connect your Microsoft to your Steam account, it'll just work like a Microsoft game. So it'll like have no effect. That should be able to, when you buy it on Steam, you have to connect it to your Microsoft account. So therefore, if I buy it through Microsoft, I don't have to do anything with Steam. Yeah. Okay. Alright, because Motorsport 8 has a, uh, if I remember correctly, it has a in-game invite. So you could invite your Xbox friends. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of there would be a performance difference even between buying it and then using it on the Microsoft side versus the Steam side, which it shouldn't be. That'd be kind of weird. I don't think there would be. It would be... It would be bad news if there was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably a lawsuit, even. Yeah. Yeah. Third. <laughs> wow. I turned uh, ray tracing on. Performance of dip, uh, dip? Nope. Yeah, second place disappeared. <laughs> I can't believe the game ship with that bug. That's so dumb. It is pretty dumb, but it's also kind of amusing. <laughs> oh no, don't, don't get me wrong, it is amusing as fuck, but it's so dumb. How? How do you ship a game with a bug like that? Wait, wait, go back to the car screen. Too late. Too late. Um, suck my balls. Go back to the con screen. I love how Weather Tech Raceway Lagoon and Sega showed up for Magellan. Mm hmm. 
Mm. They put way too much effort into these loading screens. Agreed. Like, I get the appeal of having a good loading screen, but like, goddamn. What do you want to see? I want to see if all the cars had tire stickers. Interesting. So they were too lazy to put um, tire stickers in the cars that didn't have them already. Which also means that I can tell which cars got released later in Seven's life cycle. Or life cycle. Okay, which group five cars that I had to quote pay for, versus which group five cars shipped with the game. I love how old school these cars have the anti geometry thing. I'm pretty sure those cars didn't have. You know what's weird to me? What? These old school IMSA GTO cars would have came with racing slicks. Alright. Now I understand they're a different type of racing slick. But if you're gonna add compounds to cars that don't generally have compounds, like TCR cars or like GT3 cars, okay. Why wouldn't she have done it for these old school race cars that are also on racing slicks? That makes sense to me. I didn't, I didn't make the game. I know you didn't make the game, but I'm, I'm pointing out. It doesn't make sense, does it? If I made the game, it would be way better. <laughs> yeah. Or like if I was game director, it would be way better.
they run that by me again? Hmm? Are you missing wheels? Yeah, yeah I am. That's funny. Yeah, because I believe those are on BBS RS turbo fans. At least the Audi Quattro's were. And uh, those don't look like BBS RS turbo fans. I would know, I've put them on a lot of cars in Forza. <laughs> Mostly so I can see BBS RS turbo fans, <laughs> just like that. I wouldn't be to complain about my choice in rims. You can actually tell if he's going to buy the game. Do those curves feel deadly? No. Actually, you should tell me if the curb at the end of this corner feels deadly. No. It does not feel deadly. Well, they've improved the curbs. Yeah. Two more. There's clearly an improvement to, like, everything. Except for performance. <laughs> <laughs> Runs even worse now. Well, actually, who am I kidding? It doesn't even run on the old Xbox consoles. Yeah, that's what happens when you target a different, uh, different hardware. Thirty seconds to race well, I mean, is the Xbox One S and the One X really that that old? Yes. Wow. Okay. Just you know. Shoot me in the fucking <laughs> heart, why don't you? <laughs> My point's being, if we're gonna release the game for PC, we couldn't have like created a port for the older consoles. We couldn't have turned down the graphics a little bit. Yeah, they could have, you know, 2D trees, lowered a lot just, of the polygons, you know, like four to seven. lowered some of the resolution stuff. I got, oh, I think the game, yeah, it did. Game crash. Why should game crash so much today? I don't know. I guess because it's ray Forza. tracing smaller? Yeah. Probably turn that off. Why? I wonder if it's uh, causing instability. Shouldn't be. They advertised uh, the game with ray tracing. Okay, well, just because they advertise it with something doesn't mean it actually works. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm pretty sure my car was advertised with active parking. It does not happen. The fuck is active parking? You know all the Ford commercials where, like, their hands are off the steering wheel and the car is parallel parking for them? Oh. Yeah. Well, my car wouldn't have been able to come with it anyways because it's manual. Imagine not being okay. able to parallel park. No, no, but like... I can parallel park, I just choose not to. Also, there's nowhere to parallel park where I'm at. There's no parallel parking. I have to go to the nearest large metro center to like actually have parallel parking be a need. I'm gonna live in that fucking... Uh, Torian car hopper. Yeah. I, uh, I would assume you would. What do you say? Because I know you like touring cars. Shit, you're not wrong. <laughs> Laguna Seca translates to dry lagoon in Spanish, but can get slippery when cars go off track what and else I like? sand onto the surface. So be cautious of decreased traction. What? Like manga.
because it's just the uh, the bog standard like get into online racing hopper. Yes, the uh, the multiplayer qualifier thing uses the BTCC cars. It's a BTCC car. It's not, it says TCR on the back. Okay. Anyway. Um, multiplayer qualifier is basically spec Honda Civics. Dude. Spec Honda Civic T TCR cars. In. They should definitely include more TCR cars. Even though TCR is now a dead series. I think for a qualifier, I think it's a good thing to do is put everybody in the same car. Oh, yeah. Because really, if it comes down to it, if it's the same car with the same team, which I know it's not because you're fucking with it at the car, right? <laughs> But it's basically you like fix the spec series. You have like your spec me on for my racing. Just like your spec me on your Formula Mazda. Um, you know, your low level touring cars. So think of like literally any national level front wheel drive low aero touring car called, called BTCC. Um, you know, probably the Ford even. I got Formula Ford because it's not really in this game. Formula V. It's three open wheel cars. Um, I've run out of cars. There's no other cars in my head. No cars head empty. Oh, the uh, the new Dark Horse R race car. The new what? Ford's pushing the the Dark Horse. Um, they've created like a spec Mustang series. Uh -huh. A special Mustang with an H pattern. It has a fucking H pattern. I'll find one here. Finishes Adjusted the tune slightly. Probably because you also ran the softs today, some yesterday. Yeah. See, I've noticed that that's something Dio's like doing. He's just like jumping right in, not adjusting the fuel of the tires or anything. It's like, dang. He's oh. a Forza player. Yeah. 
I usually just hop in, see how the car feels without any changes. And then, like, oh, it needs this, this, and this. And I'll, I'll change one of them. Uh, the most important one, I think, at, the, at that time. Tires. It's always tires. I think the tire compound thing is stupid and gimmicky. Nah, I think it's I think it's great. They're finally uh, catching up to Gran Turismo too. <laughs> How many racing series have different compounds of tires? I don't know. GT3 runs a single compound. I'm pretty sure WEC... WEC, yeah. WC runs one compound of tire. Given that they're probably different from the different classes, but still, each class only has one compound of tire. IMSA. IMSA may have different tire brands, but they show up with one compound of tire. CR maybe only runs one compound at a time. I think most of your low level formula series only run one compound as well. Although, to be fair, the lower I go, the more likely uh, they run one compound because of cost savings. Yeah, uh, beginner level motorsports needs to be cheap. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, it need to be cheap, but it should be cheap. I think running a season of cards is like seventy grand or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, not cheap. Most families, you know, don't have seventy grand to just dump into motorsport. Right. There's things like, you know. I don't know, putting food on the table and like being able to go to work that are more important. You don't need food. <laughs> Shit, you're right. You know, it's kind of insane how um how much they've improved this game from seven. I mean, 7 was pretty bad. Yeah, I don't I think you can only go up from there. I don't know. I think there is a way to go down from 7. Well, yeah, of course. It, it is turn 10. I don't know. Look at a set, of course. So we went down from there. <laughs> ECC released. Driver level 19 in one day. God damn, dude. How much Forza have we played? I don't know. I'll check my Steam. See how much Forza I've played today. Think I know how to do that? No, I always forget how to do that, so. I mean, I know for a fact that you could tell me because it'll just tell you how many hours you played. As for me, I have no fucking clue. I don't know how to look that shit up. I just don't know. I just can't see it right now. Is that Volkswagen or TCR card? Or is it a BTCC card? TCR. Carnage. I know the Subaru is it. Wait, hold on, what? Volkswagen? I don't know that obviously TC or whatever. Um You don't have access to the, the beginner league, do you? What beginner league? The three race beginner series. The qualifier thing? 
Yeah. I think I still do. Oh, okay. Okay. Noted. Um, I just thought it was weird because I saw Volkswagen so I remember he said something about Spec Civic and I'm like, wait, Volkswagen? That's not a Civic. Oh, yeah, in the qualifier it, it's all the Civics and then currently, I guess this week it's uh, um, the TCR cars are available as one of the categories. The qualifier or for just the weekly race? The weekly races. Honestly, they should just have like all of the race cars have their own series and then they just rotate through production car classes. So you get like, I don't know, three weekly events with different production cars. It would seem it would seem so, yeah. This week it's uh touring cars. Um the it's a GQ pick cars. Uh, and then Forza GT. And Forza oh, GT just fucking blows. <laughs> and then uh, I think next week um, they're already advertising for the Formula Mazda cars. That should be fun. Fun. Carnage. Same thing. <laughs> I'm sorry that people who drive formula cars and think those are an enjoyable experience typically enjoy carnage. And the fact that nobody knows how to drive an open wheel car. Myself included. Oh my god, they fixed that curb too. I can't believe they fixed the curves, can we? It is quite surprising. I wish the game went like spammy with, oh, you looked up your car during the race. Yeah, just, just tell me after the race. Probably an option for it. Oh, who am I kidding? This is for, so there's not an option for that. <laughs> I don't need all the car level shit and all the penalty shit either. I just need to know what's going on with my race and no one else's. Yeah. Actually, it wouldn't even matter because. Um, you can tell who has penalties based on the penalty box in the gigantic uh, leaderboard. Yeah. Yeah. Three to go. Like, I thought ACC's leaderboard was huge. Absolutely gigantic. But no. No, Forza tops it. it takes like a quarter of the width of the screen. <laughs> well, I'm ACC, you can, it, make it, uh, you can make the HUD smaller. No, no way. I don't need to make the HUD smaller in ACC because I run a 21 by 9 screen. Yeah. That's another thing that would kind of blow us if this didn't have wide screens again for ultra wide screen. I'm being to harass them and get them on here. Uh, okay. I think I will. I might come for playing Beam on a controller. I 
Okay. Bro, I'm, all I'm getting is podiums and that one win. <laughs> Yeah, imagine only winning once and then never <laughs> winning again. Jagged's gonna get four, so let's go. Yeah. Told we should hop on and make fun of your driving. <laughs> I turned in a little too early, and, uh... That. <laughs> oh, you're probably, like, ten seconds ahead of me. I forgot I'm watching the stream on Twitch. Oh. You don't want to watch it through, uh... Discord? I think that would just destroy your internet, so... I'll have to... Now, uh, uh, I think the iron's pretty good. Should be fine. Mine would not be fine. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that you don't even have to be that far ahead of this guy behind you to still be on the podium. Yeah, he's got a one second time penalty, so. That, that's exactly the illusion I was alluding to. Yay, uh, another podium. Uh, Weather was lightning? <laughs> Cloudy with lightning. Thunderstorms. Yeah. Well, it's just because it's thunder, you know. Ah, uh, that's true. Doesn't mean there's going to be rain. It's just that where I live, usually when it thunders, it's pissing down rain. Yeah. I wonder if it's like that where you live. 99% of the time when it, there's a thunderstorm, it's also pissing down rain. <laughs> so yeah. I thought I turned it off. Well, oops, I guess. Now I have to generate design ideas, make sure every slide is looks nice. <laughs>
They're pretty cool. Yep. I haven't driven the Nurburgring yet this, uh, on this game. I could disconnect it as game, but... Possibly. Does it feel better than on ACC? What? Nur Nurburgring? Yes. I mean, I'm playing with the controllers, so I don't know. that in ACC, but I also don't like juicy three cars. Yeah. And then I'll go play an AC, which is not a laser scan version, and it feels slightly off. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> then I'll cry about it. And then I'll also run out of curve, and then my rear tires are just like, eh, no. Hasta la vista, baby. Use the GT suitcase. I'm very upset about that Kita. I'm not as upset about it. I hate the GT chicane. You don't like eating your car over that chicane that blocks Jesus, hopefully that's a mistake. No, because it feels like ass in ACC. You feel like ass in ACC because you can't monster truck the curbs unless you drive the Mercedes. They totally fix that. Speaking of ACC, Actually, I haven't played that game in so long. I don't think I'm ever going to play it again, honestly. It's really bad. Yeah, I don't think I ever land there. Like, it's bad whenever I can go to iRacing and say, oh, they did that better. Oh, but to be fair, I could have pretty close real to real racing in, like, regular race cars. If it's on iRacing and my wheel works and this and this and this, and blah blah blah, blah. and you're running the sprint layout? Oh my god. I don't mind the sprint layout. But there's a whole section of the track that's like, really good. <laughs> they, with the sprint layout, you just cut out that entire section, and you just have the worst sections of the track. True. It's like how, um, when you run the Norch Life version of the, the GP track, they cut out the the, Ner the Mercedes Arena, and I'm fine with that, because the Mercedes Arena kind of sucks. Kind of sucks? Yes, it kind of sucks. I should probably qualify. Nah, you don't need to do that. Just last the first challenge. I don't want to do that again after Mid Ohio. You still got on the podium. <laughs> True. Oh, this doesn't pertain to you very much since you're Canadian. But um, Crunchyroll is now right. The right stuff is now Crunchyroll. Actually, it does because Crunchyroll might actually ship to you internationally with minimal um, shipping charges. Oh, Crunchyroll also got the pantsuit off them. <laughs> For what? Um, selling private information to third parties like Facebook. Uh. So they just lost a $16 million class action lawsuit. They didn't lose it, they settled. Yeah, they settled that lawsuit for $16 million, and then... Um, if you had a Crunchyroll account and you've watched more than two videos from, like, X point to X point, and you're in the US, so it doesn't apply to you, um, you can go to some website and then put in your claim number and then get $30. Did you 30 do? whole ass dollars. No, I did not. Why? Free manga. Uh, I would say three, but like, Viz hiked their prices, so not quite. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the effort. 
Plus, you know, if you do all that, then you have to like, follow certain rules from like, being a part of the class act. It's just hassle. Okay. Two left. Three left. Three left. I also don't know what email I signed to crunch your roll with. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I, I, I do actually qualify for that. I watched a shit ton of anime at crunch your roll for a while. Watched all of her and a girlfriend and like caught a Suba dragon maid. My reason why I use Crunchyroll or any other streaming service is if I can't get it on my Plex, or if I can't access 9 Anime, or whatever it's called now, on the device I'm using, which only applies to my Roku. <laughs> your TV? Yeah. Did you get Plex on your TV? Yeah. I might do that, because, like, that'd be pretty fucking lit. You just sign into your Plex account, and everything that you you have access to is there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, because like, I tried doing it on my computer, and because like my web browser is so far out of date, and I was having trouble, I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to copy this link into Firefox, and then it worked. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Also, like, a lot of things just don't work on Safari. Rip. Well, so far that I remember. I used to run Google Chrome for everything, and now I just have it on my Microsoft computer. Ah. Uh, I stopped using Chrome, uh, last year. <laughs> well, if I ever get around to being able to afford a new PC, I'll probably just put Firefox on. Yeah, you can just, uh... It, it runs you through how to transfer your bookmarks and all that stuff over to Firefox. Oh, I don't even care about that, because, like... I have one, two, three, four, five bookmarks. I oh. can just create new bookmarks faster than it would take for me <laughs> to import my old ones. True. I have lots of bookmarks, because I... Like saving my bookmarks. I have five. Two of them, I, three of them, I don't even really use. Uh, Actually, four of them. Uh, I think for me, I have a, a way more interests than uh, than might be uh, expected. <laughs> Manga, sim racing. That's about it. For you. Yeah, that's about all I have time to do, is read a manga or two every week, and then, well, a little more than that if I'm reading NF Ghost at the rate I was reading it. Oh. Uh -huh. I think I read like a volume and a half every fucking, like, day after work. Absolutely insane. Hmm. Yeah, I got a bookmark folder for uh, modding my favorite games. I got a bookmark folder for retro games and stuff. Well, you also, like, don't have a job, so, like, you just get to do whatever you want, whatever you want. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Wow. Good job, drivers. Well, it yeah. could have been worse. But um, they do have all those different interests. It makes it really easy to just like start typing and be like, yep, yeah, that's what I want, or click on it. Yeah. Just got out dragged by a Ford Focus. Oh, wow. Sure, I could live. Dude, Ford missed out with the focus so much. 
would be perfect for as a TCR car. Yeah. Could have had a turbo, two liter, four cylinder engine, which is like the hallmark of every fucking TCR car like ever. Jaguar. What a gamer tag. I think this game will run on my HDD. Yeah, it would. Just to expect a little bit longer load times than what you're seeing here. The final riddle. I don't know. It depends on the game. True. Actually, ACC is fairly acceptable. AC sometimes gets a little long, but uh, modded client, modded content, modded content. Yeah. Custom shaders, all that shit. So, understand it. And I'm running it all off an HDD. Yeah, I'm running it on a. Uh, just a bog standard S SSD. It's about. Eight. Five, ten seconds faster, depending on what you're loading. Yeah, I was gonna say the slowest SSD is still probably faster than the fastest HDD. Within reason. If you go too cheap, you'll lose out on a, a little chip that. Uh, Three left. It's a little cache chip, I think. That makes uh, loading certain things really quick. If it doesn't have that, a hard drive with that chip would end up being faster. Which I wasn't paying attention. I was telling Jagged that I'm probably gonna start drinking on Monday as he can go first. Becoming an alcoholic for the win. What were you saying about that? That stuff? Uh, so storage drives, they come with this little chip. I think it's a cat chip or something where it makes things um, load faster or improve load times. Mm -hmm. um, if the SSC doesn't have one but the hard drive does, the hard drive would be end up being faster than the SSD. But if you buy it from a reputable brand, both will have it and the SSD will be significantly faster. Well, I would have pretty much bought a Samsung H or a Samsung SSD. To be honest. That's pretty much just about my only requirement in a computer. <laughs> is that whatever drive you're going into it. I have a Samsung boot drive and a Samsung games drive. Preferably a two terabyte drive, uh, but I can survive on a one. Mostly in the respect that I can divvy up different tasks for different computers. Because yeah. this laptop still runs acceptably. I'm actually quite surprised considering it's like, I don't know, six years old. Yeah. It does kind of show us age with some of these newer games. Call of Duty does not run as well as I wished it would, however, understand it. Like, benchmark really has always been 60 frames. Constant 60 frames working. Yeah. Usually 1080p, yeah. I actually run a 1440. Uh, my system runs better at 1440 for some reason. You have to leave it in space all the time. Although, to be fair, like, that's basically how me and Karma race lap after lap after lap. If we're not in a single fun line trying to faint each other into <laughs> defending really poorly. 
if you ever get behind me and Karma, which you probably will get stuck behind us at some point, uh, you will see us. Give no fucking holds barred. Like, just... It's a slugfest. I love racing with Karma. Go! Probably, Go! I have my expectations for uh, racing games. And you know, racing games. Oh, I'm fantasizing about battling with Karma. <laughs> and then remembering that my expectations for like, racing games and, you know, every single race being an absolute slugfest is mostly because of him. Mostly because we are the two most competitive motherfuckers on this planet, and, um, by God, we will ruin our friendship over a stupid competition. <laughs> pretty funny actually looking at it like you know three or four however many years later it's funny but like, it definitely was not funny when it was happening should go find my xbox and boot it up at some point you why uh just to scroll through forza and Look at all the stupid shit I used to do. <laughs> and at this time, I need to go find my credit card. Now it looks like I'm getting a top five. Your first non podium. Yep. Wow. Alright, can we should I get the Windows version or the Steam version of the game? I don't know. I don't care. I would say Steam because I'm biased, but like, you know, yeah, whatever, when you want. Well, I only ask because the CD keys version, I'm pretty sure, is the Xbox version. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I wouldn't be able to play it on Steam. I'd have to launch it through Windows. But you could add it to Steam as a non Steam game and launch it through Steam that way. Yeah. Well, let me see what premium edition. Why don't you get the regular edition before you make a before you get the extra stuff? Um, because I can get twenty two percent off the premium edition, which is seventy five dollars. Versus the hundred dollars that it usually is. Okay. Yeah. Or, sorry, ninety five fifty nine. I love how they advertise five days of early access. Wow, five days. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Car Pass doesn't even give you car packs anymore. For real? For real. You get one free car a week for 30 weeks. Which, to be fair, is almost an entire year. It's like eight months or something stupid like that, but still. Damn. Damn. Oh, did you buy the Honda? Uh, the game gives it to you. Oh, cool. Oh, did you ever find out why you got that Porsche? I, uh, I finished the, uh, that Kailami race with the Mustang, and then the game was like, oh, like, here, this is what you've won. Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku. Scroll down. All the way down. I saw, Miku. It. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, this one. <laughs> I love how we're still using the base design of the car and putting stickers on it. Yeah. You know I'm gonna like ogle that livery, right? 
You have to like auto before the vista that shit. Oh, okay. actually, go to the go to the car dealership and try and form the vista of the Focus RS for me. A okay. After I ogle this pet city and make your livery. Oh my god, the livery quality is awful. <laughs> Look at the JPEG Did you just quality. have your livery quality set super low or something? Jesus. That should be set on high. That is not high quality. No, it's not. It should be the highest quality, because I set textures to the highest. Did you set your actual livery quality to, like, high? Ooh, Delta Bar. Arc progression. <laughs> yeah. Basic video. No, not there. Mini leaderboard. That's there's nothing mini about that leaderboard at all. My card probably doesn't support ray tracing, does it? Nope. Thank you. See, told you. You don't need ray tracing anyway. No, I wouldn't run it just for the performance gain. All right. Let's... Also, I'm on like a five to ten second delay here. Hey. I want... Oh, there we go. I wonder if you can set which car sits in your garage. I don't know. Oh, man, that's way better now. Oh, yeah. Still running at 30 FPS in the menus. That's kind of sad. Eh, whatever. That's way better. It's a 2023 race I can make you. That's sad. I think it's 2023. I don't know. If I can get a picture for thighs, I can tell. Oh, yeah. I wanted to see the Ford Focus. Yeah, the RS. 2023 Racing Miku has some pretty nice thighs. Sure. This one? My seventeen toward focus RS. Yep, that's the one. Alright, where am I looking? Uh you're gonna want to go into the driver's seat and look at the steering wheel. Okay, looking at the steering wheel. I am like a solid ten seconds behind you, homie. Bro, just go watch it on the Discord. Oh, you're streaming through Discord? Yeah, I'm streaming through Discord and I'm streaming through Twitch. Oh, hey. It is uh, actually correct on this edition. Yeah. Uh -oh. They actually fixed it. I'm surprised. That's kind of like... On the uh, on Forza 7, it still said ST on the steering wheel. Oh. <laughs> Like, I'm not shooting you, like, I, I can take a picture of it. Actually, I can get Jagged to do it for me. I can tell him exactly what I'm looking for, and he'll know what to look for. Ah. Oh. So here's the, get... the spec event. Coming soon. In 21 hours. Soon. And you got open events. Open events is in like class offers. Just Karma was saying that he was not really appreciating that they got rid of those. Oh. Oh, this is people are people are complaining that um 
you can set all of the assists to like basically drive the car for you and then walk away and let the game play itself and you can get like you can do that for four hours and get car levels for it oh yeah i saw that but, i don't yeah, really I mean, care because i'm not gonna do it <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna do it either but i like i understand why people are upset but like damn it's not that deep yeah if they get enough backlash they would probably like fuck around with the settings and make sure you know blah, 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 blah. but it's accessibility settings Um, Xbox really loves their disabled gamers, so I think it's for disabled people. Yeah, if you don't need it, don't use it. <laughs> CD key subscription, online multiplayer on Xbox requires Xbox Live Gold. Not when you play on PC. And not if you own the Game Pass. Yeah. You cash back at CD keys. That's amazing. But neither will ruin your lap times if you focus on your entry point so you can exit quickly. This this lady telling me how to drive. Have you used G2A before? Yes. Is it any good? It does what it says it does. Just make sure you don't buy the the account. I'm sorry, what? So you could buy accounts that have that game on it. That's dumb. Uh -huh. It'll say in the title. Oh, they don't have the Steam key for what's it doing? I'm going on a hunt to buy this game as cheaply as I can. <laughs> They have an X. They have a Force of Seven key. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. I see a Forza Motorsport PC Steam account. So what? I buy an account if I do that? Is that yeah, what that is? that's exactly what it is. Why would I want to buy someone's account? I don't know. Unless I was buying like some prolific Forza Motorsport players account, like fucking <laughs> Reeded Dust Eight's account. Jesus Christ, that's in the I I don't really I don't really care. Team account. Steam gift. Yeah, you buy that and then uh, it'll give it to you. The standard edition Steam gift from your 128.22. Bro, what? Forza Motorsport 6. Jesus Christ. <laughs>
yeah, I think honestly the best deal I could find is buying a Primo edition from CDTs. It's a $70 game. Mm -hmm. sure, by 10 edition, 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. But I get a $100 game for 75 bucks. And I get the first car pack, and I get a car I can leave. The only thing I miss out on is uh, early access. Yeah, except early access is already it's already done. Yeah, that's why I just don't. Uh, I can't, you know, purchase early access if the period for early access is over. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess I'll do that. I'll buy the preview edition of CD Keys. I think I. Jeweled single lap qualifying. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you're wanting to get all the bundles, you could probably just buy a pack that gives you all that shit. Including the five days early access. We stop advertising this shit. <laughs> the early access is over. Yeah. My device. I've had a CD's account for a year. <laughs> Didn't know that. Huh. I, think, I think I've had mine for a few years now. It's advertising uh, the new Forza Motorsport is $110 for the base price as opposed to like $94 when I log in. That's a little sus. I can get my credit card over here, right?
noises he made. Yep. Two remaining. What's his Xbox PC? Yeah, so it's to the Microsoft store. I'll have to figure out how to redeem that code for a little bit more. Iron 61 CD coins, whatever those are. Oh, qualified six. CD keys is trying to give me three months of Amazon music. <laughs> uh, remove that. <laughs> I don't want it. SSR Mosport. Hmm? Uh, just reading someone's gamer tag. What was their gamer tag? SSR oh. Mosport. I'm P. Chicago. Oh, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy with a burning passion. Lone Wolf. A couple drivers I recognize. LMP Chicago's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> CD keys would pay with crypto. Yikes. They see me loading, they hate it. Oh yeah, Mega Audi Launch. CD coins expire after a year, it's fucking dumb. U-Block e Oregon is amazing. Okay. U-Block e Origin is amazing. Ah. What? Are you serious? Come on, game.
there's gonna be a single floor. Damn fucking floor. Thanks, Mom, you made me crash. <laughs>
that LMP Chicago guy. It has like almost two seconds worth of penalties. Hmm. I figured. Yeah. Do I need to have all the Xbox shit installed on my computer? I don't know. iTunes. I would assume so. That's gonna be a bummer. I don't know if I need that shit installed on my fucking computer. <laughs> These instructions are full because I don't see more. Ooh, I need to free up dry space. Oops, forgot about that. Steam. Let's see what Last games lap. I can buy. Let's go. go. It'll be ready by tomorrow for sure. Um, I'll get on probably Thursday after work. Okay. So I'll probably won't free up any time to read, and then I'll play. I'll definitely play. I'll probably play Mondays after work. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yep, yep. I wonder when uh, Jagged's gonna get it as well. Um, he said he'd be on tomorrow, I think. Oh. 
<laughs> what? Yeah, I'm gonna have like no space on my hard drive. <laughs> I could uh, clear up space on my AC install. I'm sure that's taking up a lot of fucking space. Yeah. How can I tell how much space it's taking? Oh my, on the Microsoft Store, Forza rates at two stars. Yikes. It says average underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how can I tell um, how much space my AC takes? Uh, open up content manager. Content. Hold on, I'm not there. I'm to unpop this up. This is in my way. Uh, I think this is going to be a three, a uh, four-way fight for third. I love how the my PC might not meet the minimum graphics processor requirements. <laughs> oh man, my hardware is old. Uh, content. Uh, there's tools under one of the under the content tab. Uh -huh. And then click compress. Bro! I didn't see what happened. Did you get fucking punted by Chicago? No, I got punted by this fucking idiot. I don't know what his name was. Um, yeah, go to compress files and you should see it, it should populate um, how much space is taken up. Well, if I compress all the files, it should take less space too. Oh, yeah. Just leave that on for overnight or whatever. Or, well, depending on how much content you have. Uh, not as much as you. So, yeah. Mr. Flat Tool Lenzo is the guy who uh, just barged his way through me in Dakota June. Cool. Yeah. Very rude. rude. Very rude person. 34,000 files. Yeah. How much space does it take up? Uh, it's still compressing. It was scanning everything it's compressing now. Alright folks, that's the end of the stream. Goodbye.